get to it. What's going on guys? Give me a second here. We got two things going on, all right? This right here. Mystery tackle box. Down there, I don't know if you guys saw it. Work, clothes for work. So I literally just got back from school. I opened the mailbox, mailbox, and I saw this. So I'm like, yo, I gotta do an unboxing. Uh, well, I gotta take off my pants, so we're gonna skip that part. Okay, so I got that part over with. Let's start with the actual box here. So this is your standard April box. So here's my view. Let's flip it around. Here we go. First unboxing. Share your experience. Definitely gonna be doing that on YouTube. First look. See a uh, hard bait, spinner bait. A jerk bait, let's go. I needed that. Spinner. Cranker. Very good. We got some uh, grubs, it looks like. Oh, rage tails, perfect. And last but not least, big bite baits. Oh, shad, perfect. So we got some shad imitations. All right. All right, so as I'm getting this on, first impressions, pretty much perfect. Only thing is, I was kind of looking for um, like a rattle trap, some type of lipless crankbait. But I mean, even around where I'm at, it's not really necessary or it's not really possible because of all the weeds and the ponds and all that. So let's start out. First thing here, we got a little jerk bait, all right? So we have Amazing Baits by Carl and it's named The Hunch. Dive zero to four. So it isn't a suspending, it's a diving uh, jerk bait. Very nice color, should match the hatch pretty well. Looking like a really nice jerk bait that we can uh, bring around. Hopefully catch some lunkers. So that's the first bait. All right, so that was the first bait. Oh wow, it came out. Jeez, I thought it was in a uh, better packaging. But it came right out. So here we go. Jerk bait, one down. Just talking about mystery tackle box. So I was like, tie my fucking tie, I messed it up. Can't be a fisherman and not how to tie tie. But yeah, so mystery tackle box, really great company. Get amazing deals on baits. They send you specific base, baits based on your uh, location, uh, time of year. So right now I have a crankbait, jerkbait, spinnerbait. So these are all reaction baits and that's for a reason. Cause it's springtime and fish are pre-spawn. They're trying to, you know, fatten up. They just got out of winter, not very eventful winter. And they're getting uh, nice and fat. So when they go spawn, they don't have to go hunt. But anyways, let's get back to what we were doing. So here, next bait here. Max Lure, fish like a pro, crank X. So a nice chartreuse top, a little red on the bottom there. And this is just gonna be your standard crankbait. Uh, I don't know how much, how deep it goes. And so I'm gonna assume this is like uh, three to five, cause that's what usually what most crankers do. I mean, doesn't, it's a really, sh yeah, it's like a really shallow bill, so. This will be perfect for where I fish. I don't fish super deep lakes. So that's this is what the second bait is, Cranker by Crank X Maxler. All right. So that was the second bait. Let's go over the second, third bait, sorry. So here we have some Big Bite Baits Pro Series. And in it, we have some Paddle Tail Shad imitations. Soft plastic. So this will go well with... Um, Honestly, with that spinner they gave us, or you could throw it on just like a Texas rig, um, maybe as like a drop shot. But this is perfect when you have finicky bass for a drop shot or to get, you know, a reaction strike off the spinner bait. So this is really good. I didn't have many of these, so perfect. Perfect. All right, that fell. Um, all right, now I need to continue getting ready. But um, next bait, here we go. So here we have Rage Tail Strike King. So these are just great imitations of um, crawfish and they have a little scented with exclusive coffee scent. So coffee scent, I'm not sure why it would be coffee scent, but let's just pretend like that's a good idea. I mean, Rage Tail's a really good company, so they must know what they're doing. So here we have nice little color. Let's see what the actual color is. 
I don't know what color it is, but if you guys can't tell, it's like a blue green, really dark, really nice for where I am. Um, I don't really have a lot of, I had a, excuse me. So I had, um, I had like a blue, I forget what the name is. They always have weird names, but I had a blue um, trailer, but this is good because it imitates the type of um, insect, not insect, sorry, crustaceans around me. So this is a really great color. This would go perfect with like a jig or anything like that. Uh, just to drag it along the bottom, maybe hop it, maybe with like a shaky head or something. And lastly, but not leastly, not sure if that's a word. Last but not least, we have a spinnerbait by Catch Cup. And so we have, I believe, so it's a 3 8 ounce double blade spinnerbait by Catch Co. And it does have mustad hooks, so these shouldn't bend very easily. Um, I don't think it has a trailer hook, which is all good, but and it's a nice chartreuse, so it'll be good in, you know, muddy, dirty waters. It's a great bait. Um, so with this box, um, final impressions, uh, I think they did really... A really good job especially since it's april of getting a nice variety of baits a lot of hard baits but i also had a couple soft plastics um i'm really liking probably my favorite is that jerk bait by uh carl's club or whatever amazing baits the hunch i think this is a really nice jerk bait should work really well last time i threw around jerk bait jerk bait i caught like six fish in one day and nearby where i am that's really good so that is going to be the video i hope you guys enjoyed this is my first video um, I know this is a very odd video, but I just wanted to make a quick reaction. I mean, I don't really have much time, but I saw this box and I was like, yo, I'm trying to open this right now. So that's what I did. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll have a lot of information below about Mystery Tackle Box. And if you like this type of content, don't be, uh, so I'm going to be making videos of, you know, actually fishing, which is like the main focus of this channel, maybe like hiking or whatever. But yeah, this is my first video. So please give me feedback. Uh, this was shot on the iPhone. So that's the only reason why it was poorer quality. I do have a camera. Um, I just didn't feel like bringing it out for a reaction video. But hope you guys enjoyed. This is RTNY. And catch you later. Po. What is going on, y'all? What you guys just saw was the unboxing of the MTV box. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to be doing that slam just yet. Because I don't know how productive these waters are. But if you guys didn't notice, I'm over here next to a river and i don't usually do river, river fishing a lot but um i'm gonna be trying it out so i'm gonna go down this trail right here looks death deathly but um i'll be trying it right now so i'll get back to you when i'm down there and when i start fishing peace so i just stopped the vlog but um there's a fucking snake i'm trying to like catch this thing here record me don't touch it i'm not gonna touch you again i swear to god the same fucking turtle this turtle is trolling me hard are you recording this mm -hmm. this turtle is trolling me so hard i just want to catch that small now i can't believe it i thought turtles were supposed to be smart right they live forever that's so stupid
It is, it is. Oh my god. It's huge. First ever smallmouth. Look at the hook. Oh my god, look how big it is. I might need the pliers actually, it's kinda in there. For, this is my biggest fish ever. This is my oh biggest my fish ever. I've been trying to look at this thing. It's freaking huge. Get it away from me. Oh Holy my god, crap. I'm falling. <laughs> look at it. Smallmouth bass. Do you want me to take, let me get my picture on my phone. No, grab my phone out of my pocket. It's in my red pocket. Oh, Jesus Christ. Just keep it away from me. Smallmouth bass. Keep it away from me. Yeah. Right here. He's huge. Look at him. I think he's blind in the left eye. Take a picture. If you can. All right. Record it and get the release, right? You got it? Uh, just a little hard bait. Uh, crank bait. Crank bait? Yeah. You got it? Thank you. My first ever. Did you kill it? <laughs> yeah, it's my first smallmouth. I'm like, holy shit, he just pulled a fish out. <laughs> you recording? Yeah. Come down here and get closer. Thank you. It looks, is it, is it dead? You got it. Yeah. Good. Are you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna release him. Oh. He's gone. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> really nice. Thank you. Yeah! <laughs> Okay, what you just saw was about, how long have we been here? Three and a half hours? That was the product of three and a half hours, okay? I'm gonna show you. I started probably half a mile down that coast and I cast it out with my crankbait, reeled it in, giant smallmouth. Comes right up, probably like a foot close to the shore. So I'm like, all right, there's fish right here. So I just kept fishing, kept casting them out parallel to the coast. And then I'm finally over here. Couple casts parallel to the coast, wasn't really producing much. I slowed down my retrieve actually. Casted it out perpendicular, like straight, just straight out. Nice slow retrieve, pause, slow retrieve, pause. And then I see a fat small, just what you saw, probably the same one, but it short strikes it, so I didn't get it. So then, all right, one more time. We have to go because we've been here for so long, and I know Elena is getting really mad. I'm not so one more. <laughs> so one more cast. I'm like, all right, one more cast. These fish are playing with me. I caught a fucking turtle. That might be in the video. Anyways, one more cast. Reel it in slow. Pause. Feel a thump. I let him mean it. <clears throat> He's like probably five feet at the most from the shore. Reel him in. It was a smallmouth, so I was surprised. He didn't really fight too much. It's probably because he's so close. And uh, that's what you guys saw. So that will be the conclusion of my vlog for now. Um, I didn't get to fish with the MTB box, but I'm probably gonna bring out my kayak to a lake near me. Maybe go for some pike, uh, large mouth. But that right there is my first ever small out. Woo! <laughs> Fucking three pounder, let's get it baby. All right, I'll catch y'all later. Peace.